Hi there, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how we can create a list of months using, using Excel. So we're going to look at how we can create a list of months using just Excel. So it's going to be a very short trick and then we should be able to do this. So you can just go ahead and specify the year. So if I should go ahead and enter 2020. And I hit enter, it's going to generate a list of the months within what 2020. So that was the first 12 months. I can just specify just the six, the first six months of 2020. And this is going to work for me. So this is going to be like a dashboard, an active dashboard. And you can easily modify that. So it's going to be from to this month and then a the year. So within from first to 31st, we have 31 days, so we have the number of days within a particular month. We should be able to generate that, and then we have the first 12 months, and then the year will also be generated. So let's jump right into action and see how to do this. I'm going to open a new worksheet, and then we're going to do everything right here. So, first of all, we need to first get two cells together. So, I'm selecting two cells, and then one is going to be for the year and then the other will be for the month. So this is going to be the year and then this is going to be for the month. So I'm going to enter a random month for now. Let me say 2022 and then maybe I want to generate the first 12 months. I want to generate the first 12 months. Let me format this by selecting the entire so using center and the middle align. I'm going to apply a border to this all around this bolding my text and then also increase the font size to about 14. I'll select a column and then just open up this column a bit. Now we want to go ahead and provide the rest of the information that's going to from to this month and then the year. So I'm going to say from to this month and then let's say year. So the years will be displayed over here one specific here so let's format this let the entire column apply border to this let's bold it this and then also increase the font size to 14 and we're also going to use the center and the middle align okay so we'll go ahead and integrate this random month over here i'm going to use the date function to do this so just type date and then we're going to enter the year and the year is going to be provided by the user so you enter your year here and then automatically it's going to pick that and we're going to embed the sequence function within this so sequence and then the sequence is going to be based on the number of months you want to generate so I'll select over here when you enter 12 months it's going to generate the first 12 months for you if you enter 5 months it's going to generate the first 5 months for you and then we'll go ahead and then we close these brackets and bring a comma we want to start from one the first month so we just have to bring one close these brackets and then hit enter first of all you need to format this column you're going to get some serial number so we select this make sure we go to the ribbon and then we did a number group that's the number groups select and then go to a more format you want to select a specific Date format for this particular column. So I select date, come down and then select any of the date format you want. I prefer the last one and then click on OK. So my date and everything is formatted. I'll center in the middle, align this. We want to do the same thing for the two. So we generally start from first and then end on 31st. So we want to make sure we provide the specific end date over here. So we use the same process, use the date function. And then go to select the year, bring comma, and then we embed the sequence function once again. We select the month column, bring a comma, and this time around is going to be a double comma, and bring two, and close these brackets, bring comma, and then bring zero, and close your brackets. So just take a note, just take note of this formula, hit enter, and it's basically going to do the same thing for you. Let's select and format this once again. Let's select this number group go to more number format and uh, let's select the same date format so that it will see some form of uniformity within this select this and click on ok center and the middle align this so you can see we have from 1st january to 31st of january 1st february to 28th of february so 2022 we have 
have 28 days in February and this is going to be provided. I want to look at the number of days. So in general, we have 31 days. So we want to make sure we provide that right here. So number of days, we're just going to use the day formula. So equal to day, select this and then we want the number of days. So you select the end date as a two. Make sure we want to reference this in power column. So you can easily use the hash key on your keyboard and I'm going to reference the star column. Close the bracket and then hit enter. You see, we're going to just center in the middle align it. So generally it's having 31 days. February 28. March is 31. So if I go ahead and even change the year, let's change this year to 20. 30. I hit enter. You see, everything is going to be updated. Everything is going to be updated for us. And we want to also specify. So now we have 20, 30 over here. So we want to get a month. We're going to use the month function. Remember to like, subscribe, and then also comment. Leave your comments at the comment section of this particular video. We use a month, so say month, and we're going to make reference to this. We're going to make reference to the month we are talking about. So use the hash key to make reference to the entire column. Then hit enter. So we have 12 months. We generate the first 12 months. I want to center in the middle, align this. Use the same process to also get that for the year. I'll go ahead and say equal to use the year function and then just select this. Make reference to the entire column by using the hash key on your keyboard and hit enter. So we are referring to 2030. So everything is going to be dynamic. If I go ahead and then change this to let's say 2015, they should be updated for us. You can see now the year is 2015, it's updated everywhere. If you want to generate just the first five months of 2015, I can just go ahead and provide this right here, hit enter, and then we are getting just the first five months of 2015. So this is how to build or create a list of months using Excel. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on post notifications for more of my videos. So I come away again, remember to like, subscribe for more. So once you are done, if you want to format this, all you have to do is let's select the 